talking about the fleece as well, someone just said that they've always been sceptical about fleece for babies yeah. and children, and yeah. I guess it's polar fleece they're referring to, and yeah. they're, they're saying, I'm assuming that this type of fleece is safe, being a merino mm -hmm. fleece, and is it okay for newborns? Well, I think the key thing there is to look at the weight. Yeah. But when we, this is 360 grams of, um, of merino, so it is a very thick, very warm fabric. So our advice with newborns is that light layers of merino enable you to monitor your baby's temperature yeah. because they can't yeah. regulate their temperature, which is why merino is so good. But if you put like a one really yeah. thick layer on a newborn, there's not a lot of room to move. Exactly. They, they could easily be, yeah. probably not gonna, they will not overheat in the way that a child would in polar fleece yeah. because polar fleece is made of crunched up plastic mm. bottles, you know, yeah. it's plastic. Yeah. And so actual polar fleece should never be used on babies or even children, yeah. toddlers, you know, yeah. like the only time I would suggest polar fleece would be like, it's really great for tramping because it weighs mm. nothing and it dries really quickly in a hut, you know? yeah. <laughs> but apart from that... Just and an older child that can say, I'm hot, and take yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, or I did used to use them for, yeah. um, for my kids at play centre, like out in the sand, but they yeah. wouldn't wear the waterproof overalls, but some, you know, TNT, yeah. $5 polar fleece yeah. pants, and then you just chuck them in the wash. Yeah. But for anything to do with sleep, you should not use synthetics like polar fleece. Um, in terms of our merino fleece range, it's not designed for newborns. Nice. The smallest size in the onesie is three to six yeah. months. And that really just came about from customers wanting the littler size. But, you know, it was probably more appropriate for kind of four, five, six. Once you're getting out of that kind mm -hmm. of SIDS risk, um, once you're sort of you're starting to develop a little bit more temperature regulation. Yeah. Um, and you're not swaddling, I think. I wouldn't suggest using this with a swaddle. No. It would be just too hot. Yeah. So, you know, if if you've got a four or five month old, you're in a freezing cold house, you're struggling to keep your baby warm enough, then the, the three to six month one's mm. even a sleeping bag with um, arm oh, holes, yeah. so there's opportunity to cool yeah. down. That could work in a really cold house, but mm. for swaddled babies, absolutely it would be yeah. too warm. You would be far better with something like um, this little, oops, I showed you, it's mm -hmm. pretty cute, um, with a bodysuit, um, so mm -hmm. light layers for newborns. And we can use the bassinet blanket, right? Yes. You know? yes. So, um, yeah, we can use that in the bassinet. And then you've got the option of taking it off. You can yeah. check baby's temperature. You can take it on and off. You can make it one layer, yeah, or double two. it over. Yeah, so and right. also this is an amazing pram, pram blanket because yeah. it's so warm. So yeah, the blankets yeah. come in bassinet or cot size. So this is not for swaddling yeah. because again, it would be too much weight yeah. and too hot. If you want to swaddle with that merino, I think we've now got about 15 colours. <laughs> <laughs> totally so many. So out of range. Rainbow colours. Yeah, we just love the merino swaddle blanket. So one of those is perfect yeah. for swaddling. Yeah. You know, you could swaddle with... Um, we just have to show you the whole combo because this is another little sneaky thing. Oh, 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 little cute not gown. Um, <laughs> so the little merino gown, a bodysuit, and then yeah. wrapped in one of these, three light layers of merino would make a really yeah. toasty combo. And then these also, you know, are very versatile in terms of how many yeah. layers that you put yeah. over baby. But this is a really lovely, um, we think equivalent to a, a chunky kind of hand knit yeah. wool blanket. Mm -hmm. And I also love the idea of this loo for, like if you've got it in your pram, but say you go out to like a space or a parent's group or something, yep. and like lying it down on the floor yep. with the fleece up, because you know like floors can be cold and sometimes you're like, oh, I don't want yeah. my little yeah, baby you go to a there. But, for yeah, you know they can be drafty, yeah. but if you know that that's like, they're lying on the floor, then they're all sort of kind of And if they can't get out and go to yeah. sleep, it would be really nice exactly. on the floor. Exactly, so beautiful. Yeah, and these are machine washable. Yeah. You do need to wash with, you know, we'll talk about merino care in a minute, you do need to wash it with wool. But it is still machine washable, yeah. so if it is yeah. on the floor, it'll be fine. Yeah, oh, totally. Yeah.